Yako alisema. 95% of Kenyan souls are going to be harvested on this platform. Tuongeni badai. Mimi nataka kuoga. Nisho ule wajawana vizuri. Ndu hii kwa hapa. Simona ndu hii hapa. Inasema nini? Multiple organ injuries and blunt head trauma. Inyi kwa hapo inamandika force trauma kwa kichwa. Simona, pali mandika wa RTI, meaning that was a road accident incident kwa barabara. Okay ladies and gentlemen, welcome back again to my YouTube channel 254 Digital News. Natumai mubu heri wa hafia, natumai mwenyezi mungu pia mewamusha salama salmini kama mimi jinzi nilivyo. Na shukuru mwenyezi mungu tumeweza kwa muka salama. So guys, leo nimekuja na mavu mazito, mazito, mazito sana about ile postimotum ya Brian Chira. Na pia nimeweza kufanya upekuzi wangu hadi nikapata yule... Witness ambaye alikuwa mebebwa na yeye kwenye piki piki before agongwe So guys first of all kwanza tutaangalia ile postmortem ambaye babatalisha ameweza kuupdate watu Na guys guys kwanza nataka muyochi yo video Then nitaendelea kueleza Then ni wa dropia ile video ya Yule witness ambaye aliweza kubebwa na Brian Chira So guys enjoy first this video and then tutaendelea hapo mbele Nisho ule wajawana vizuri Ndu hii kwa hapa Simona ndu hii hapa Inasema nini Multiple organ injuries and blunt head trauma Inyi kwa hapo inamandika force trauma kwa kichwa Simona Pali mandika wa RTI Meaning that was a road accident incident kwa barabara Sawa sawa The lungs, the kidney, zilikuwa totally damaged. The heart ilikuwa imerapture. Sasa mi nataka mniambie. Resasi pia winaendanga inagonga adi roho, inaenda kwa kidney, na lungs inarapture. Sasa ndini kwa hali walikuwa na ambizo vitu Mimi ilikuwa tu hivyo And I want to end my life from there Mia don't like arguing Ni mawapatia document, ni mawapatia kila kitu It's now upon you guys To go and do whatever you want to do with that information Ndi mlukwa munataka sana And I'm done Tomorrow ni kona kila kitu hapa Za bitu za bills, kila kitu I'll still open my live question Ni kipata time But before then I'll send this to Shiro Shiro Shiri Because King Rosson alikuwa the biggest donor wa budget ya matanga ya Branchira. So I'll still send this to them. Nikona kila kitu hapa ni maandika all the receipts, all the report from each and every vendor. Any miscellaneous that we use during the funeral, everything is iko hapa. Kiti mabaki tumi kwenda kuchukua ni report ya... Mpesa statements peke yake ndo bado sijachukua nafaka kuzichukua kesho na hiyo lazima twende na shosho ndio aenda achukue statement za Mpesa So I really want to thank each and every person who came through for Branchira's funeral okay We had budgeted for like 600 to 700 people but people came in large numbers for up to 5000 people so we had to add many other things And uh, I really want to appreciate anybody, any team that came through to support, any team that uh, ili changa pesa yote, ata ilikuwa shilingi kumi, shilingi moja, any other person, mazi, mimi I really want to appreciate, I don't take it for granted, okay? So I wanted to clear that air because it has been getting out of hand. Na shoshaka nipigia simu babatalisha, mbona watu wanongia hivyo? Eh, can you just let them know that? Imagine the family is still mourning their their kin amekufa, yet somebody is online busy being a detective wa mawaj mada. If you had another information, you could still go to the police officers. Kuna police station ni kopali useme inyewe, hii reporti muliandika hii ni ya uongo, badu tulikuwa tunataka another thing ya, tutuseme vitu zingine sasawa. Apart from that, just give me a minute here. Give me a minute. 
give me a minute give me a minute what will the appear apart from this give me a minute isn't it disturbing pictures the scene of accident how it happened the voice calls and the voice notes the everything that happened since the first call ilianza to happen to the last so sawa niko nazo hapa ndivyo nyisi hizi uonyesha live yangu itakuja kufungwa ziko hapa zote you people make a lot of noise you really don't know how many people are damaging out there we have cousins wachira kuna shoshu achira kuna anti achira pale na kuna sasa wale watu walikuwa close na eh do you even care about them hmm? or all you care is about making videos that's why hata kwa matanga the only thing you could do was just to make videos and cause fracas vitu zilivunjwa sana zisikia mazishi hadi pia tv kavunjwa eh so let us learn to be people who are mature let us learn to be very mature on how we we tackle things okay yeah let us be very mature let us respect one another let us not throw shades at one another eh mimi vitu nimesikia huko nje mazee kama ningekuwa tu ule mtu mwingine wa ajabu tu hivi hata mimi sijika ningai kuja live tena sijui sijika ningekuja live but all i did i did it with all my heart every night that i spent on this chair niki push the pay bill was because i wanted that family siku moja watai kumbuka kuna kitu ile tiktoka sale wafanyia not babatalisha okay sitin babatalisha alifanya no wai kumbuka kuna watu kwa social media inaitwa tiktok they came through for this family in a very big way and they changed their life and the reason again that nilikuwa na push the pay bills because still we had a funeral that was still going on so sawa so kwa hiyo mengi mimi sina kusema sitapandisha mtu hapa juu endeni mfungue live zenu mimi sipendangi maneno mimi sipendangi matusi so endeni muendelee kutusiana na huko muendelee ku analyze na huko nimewapatia ripoti ishie hapo mimi endeleeni mkitaka kunitusi munitusi endeleeni kusema nimekula pesa ya matanga nimeona hadi kuna msiada mwingine akasema mimi ni mimi wa na rep mtoto wangu eh mwingine akakuja kusema oh mimi na sacrifice the close people to me wengine wakakuja kusema sijui nini all that for one person i really don't know why but maybe one day siku moja tu maybe only one day okay so guys have a lovely night welcome again nimeona mmewatazama hiyo post mortem ambayo baba Talisha ameanza kutuwekea hapo jana baada ya watu wengi kuanza kuleta shida kwenye mtandao na mkifuatilia vizuri sana hii e, hii post mortem kusema ukweli baba Talisha ameanza kueleza kwamba e, Brian Chira aliweza kuwa na shida huku chini pia kwa moyo na figo na akasema kama ni kupigwa risasi mtu anaweza kuaffectiwa mpaka huku chini guys awacha kutudanganya hapo juu hapo awali tuliambiwa kwamba Brian Chira aligongwa na gari na aliweza tu kuhumia kwa kichwa mahali pengine na hata tukiona Brian Chira kwa mwili yake haikuwa na malama yoyote lakini tunashangaza kwamba anasema eh, Brian Chira mbavu yake ilikuwa imekuwa affected eh, maroho yake ilikuwa imekuwa affected so nauliza ama watazamaji pia nyinyi hata mkifuatilia hiyo kitu ni kweli ama ni uongo juu baba Talisha anaweza kutueleza kwamba eti E, Brian Chira hakugongwa hako ali aligongwa na gari na akaweza kuumia huku na akaweza kuumia pia hapa na m, pia haijaonyesha wakasema pia hapa juu na mwanzo mwanzo before tulikuwa tunajua Brian Chira aliumia tu kwenye kichwa na kwenye sikio moja ikapotea na hapa chini kwenye ni lakini guys leo tumejabishwa e, na mambo ambayo imeweza kutolewa hapo jana kwamba aliumia mpaka huku chini so swali letu ni aliumia vipi huku chini na hakukuwa na any 
nini shida yani ni yani tuseme inaitwa ngaje hiyo eh akukwa na alama yote kwa mwili mwili wake tuliona tu alama kidogo pale kwa mkono lakini mahali pengine kote branchira alikuwa ako salama kabisa so guys pia tuliweza kumfikia yule ambaye alikuwa ameweza kubebwa na yeye hiyo usiku ambaye aliweza kupata ajali na pia eh wali, tu, tulisikiza voice yake sana akisema alijieleza hapo so guys pia ndacheza hiyo voice muisikie na pia ukisikiza hiyo voice vizuri unaweza 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 sikia kuna ukweli kidogo lakini kuna kuna kitu wanajaribu kuficha ninapiga simu kuhusiana na kifo chake Branchira Ah. <laughs> eh naona ulikuwa wendo ulipiga simu akakuja kuchukuliwa bwana. Eh ayu ayu around the, the, the kesho tuweze kupatana tuweze kusikia kutoka kwako bro. Sawa kesho. Kesho saa ngapi na wapi? Nikupate wapi? Ah uh, utanipigia nitakwambia. Okay. Hopefully ndakuwa nimekuwa vizuri juu saini ni kombaya kabisa. No, I know he's a man. Yeah. Ah, hata nikupigie kwa kwani form ilikuwa gani bwana? Yes. Sasa unajua mimi nilikuwa epi zangu tu. Mm. Natoka shere zangu. Mm. Kafika mahali hivi. <coughs> so nilikuwa nilikuwa na ka joint fulani kwenda kuingia. Mm. At least ya karibu na home. Mm. Nimalizie nikiingia kejani. Mm. So nikifika hiyo place. Mm. Nikapata kama nafukuzwa. Nani sasa? Huyo Shira. Mm. So na mimi nimemwonanga tu TikTok. Nini niko TikTok pia mimi nafanyanga shughuli zangu. Mm. So mimi si sina fame kama yeye. Jesse. Na ndani kuna time nishe mpata December huko face to face. Okay so nika ah nika mwanzo si brand kaniambia yake nisaidie so unaona vinye mabonza vinye wanakuanga wanakutoa mm ah, saju walikuwa nafunga pia nikaambia mtu wa boda tulikuwa na yeye mm ah, kuna acha nibaki hapa nipeleke tu home sasa ni lale mm sasa vinye nilingia kwa bike hivi mm. sio uh, like ika, ika kwa, like direction tunaenda Mm. Ndio jamaa pia alikuwa anaenda. Mm. Kaniambia nisaidie bro mniweke hapo mbele basi ni niende home juu ilikuwa around saa nane saa nane Mm. So nikamwambia mtu boda ya msaidie so tukaingia nyuma. Mm. So akilia tu bado simu pesa nimebiwa. So tukaenda mpaka Rage Junction. Mm ndani mimi nilikuwa nataka ku divert kwenda kwangu sasa. Mhm. So before ni divert nikamuuliza wewe mimi naingia hapa sasa wewe utabaki hapa utafika home. Kaniambia hapana aki wewe yenisaidie. Unajua unaona kama anaongea. Eh akasema aka, aka, aka nipeleke tu hivi ile saidi ya barabara huko munifukishe huko. Mm. Nikafanya exactly hivyo nyali alisema nikamwambia boda tumfukishe huko alafu nileta uchukue home. Mhm. Tukaenda tu hivyo venye alishuka bike. Mhm so na mtu wa boda sijui kama ako ameshikanisha story huyu jamaa ana do mm pia kumwambia ni pedo ah sasa na huyu venye akuwa na kitu mm ni kama tu sasa alikuwa anataka kutoka ile mbio like uh, sasa aende tu ah unaona ni mlevi eh so ile kutoka like anataka kutoroka sasa hivyo tu mbele yetu tu ah ah wewe ukiona ni kama ako anaona bro nakwambia hata sasa hii na shiri hata nimeshindwa kulala <laughs> mbele ya mm, ile tu yani unashtu unaona venye unaweza tani hivi upate kitu kutoka nyuma eh hivyo tu hivyo tu mbele yetu tu hapo hata nika mimi nilikuwa convinced mpaka nikaanza kukimbia kimbia hata sijui nilikuwa nafanya nini masoja aka hiyo mtu wa bike au kaepa hivyo mm ulikuwa so, nikabaki tu hapo at least Eh ni kama huko mahali nilishuka mara ya kwanza nilikuwa nimemlipa so nilikuwa ni extend kulipa nyingine mahali tulikuwa extension sasa so ya kuja huko. Kwa oh, hapa kwa Chira. Eh. Mhm. So when ilifanyika hivyo 
sikuwa na namba ya hakuna sijui watu hapa vizuri mimi ni ni kidogo mm. nikapigia hiyo 99 nikasaidiwa namba ya OCS wa huku akanipea offline charge mm. so akakuja kwa scene tukakaa na yeye hivyo akamchukua nikaenda nikaandikisha statement mm. nimetoka huko kitu 8 asubuhi Eh hizo man hizo uli uli uja maboda uli mwenye uli uli mlikuwa na ulimlipa kwa Mpesa tunaweza mpata pia atupe story yake tunaweza mpata lakini like, saya ataki ya ataki ya ataki hizo story mm. unajua yeye itamletea vida eh yeah, ya ataki sasa na mimi sasa venye nilishinda unajua ile ushiritu ina happen unashinda what to do na yani hata ushindu unashindwa waende waje I know. So I had to wait nika make calls nika wakakuja. Eh mwalimu chukua pia nika tukaenda station nika rudi asubuhi kujaribu kulala usingizi bana hakuna nini ai pole man. I know. Mhm hivyo tu. Sawa so, wacha ni jipange kesho. Mm. Uh, ni, ni kitoka kwa ofisi nikupigie ndo tuweze kupatana exact location ndo tuweze kutafutata hapo kwa chira eh. Sawa. So na pia wa, 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 um, tutafute ma guys natumai mmeenjoy hiyo voice na mmeanza kujua ni nini ambaye ilikuwa ina happen kwa kijana wetu Brian Chira na kuna video pia hapo jana jana ama juzi niliona wakibishana waki sana na mwiti kuna pita kuna huyu gidaiga wakisema wao mwiti ndio alimuua na na sasa kuna video ambaye kuna msichana pia tuliweza kumnasa sauti yake akiweza kuwa na record kwamba e, wakati walienda kwa ile bar ama mahali walikuwa na burudika hiyo usiku walijaribu kuitisha footage ya CCTV ili ionyeshe ni nani alikuwa na Brian Chira usiku huo lakini guys za ku, ya kustajabisha ni kwamba tushapata na huyo msichana alisema mtu ambaye alikuwa pamoja na Brian hiyo usiku walikuwa watu wawili na mmoja wao ni Mwiti. So Mwiti hako mbili. Guys, I hope pia mtasikiza. Twende kazi. Na nataka mkimaliza hii video kusikiza, nataka comment zenu hapo. Je, kuna kitu ambaye ina kicho about kipo cha Brian Chira? Post. Akasema Mwiti mgani alikuwa cost. Hiyo siku Mwiti alikuwa na chira kwa tebo moja. Sisi tukaanza kumpinga. Mwiti akuwa akuwa nini Nairobi Mwiti alikuwa Malindi Mwiti alikuwa Malindi aka insist aka insist akasema ngoja nataka kuambia hata hiyo siku yenye tulikuwa tunaenda kuangalia CCTV TV wali, wali kuangalia wenye walikuwa na chira walikata kuonyesha Obidan Nikamuliza walikata kuonyesha Obidan kwa nini? Akatuambia lazima angekuja na nani na So, si, si tukamwambia mwiti alikuwa malindi hiyo siku. But al insist akasema nataka kuwaonyesha wawili na mwiti ni one of them na yeye alienda na simu ya chira so mimi hizi maneno si zangu watu wa comment section hizi maneno mimi nime nimeleta chenye nilisikia unaona so mkisema ti cloud chase ji nini nini me i don't care but mimi nasema chenye ilikuwa so unaona hapa tiktok mtu anaweza sema kitu lakini being that you are supporting someone una, lazima utasema ni uongo sijini nini cloud chasing but ukweli itajulikana one day one time juu hii tiktok inanga siri so kama ni ukweli uh, the friend was there na hajasema hadi was hadi sahi then hiyo itakuwa mbaya kabisa koza nituambia wewe you should know your friends people should know their friends so na mkitaka mkitaka evidence huyo dude naweza connect ani naweza mconnect na muli na afanye nini aeleze muli juu sahi mnasema ni cloud chase jini uongo sijini nini
Mm connect immediately. Alafu uh uh huyo dem huyo dem ndo amekwambia, amekwambia huyo dem mwenye alikuwa na obedience ku ile ya kwenda kupelekwa pale kwa CCTV na mwenye alipiga picha na chira ndo mlikuwa na yeye. Just uh, that answer peke yake. Yes. Okay. Yes. Okay. Kama umesikiza hiyo sauti ya huyo mwanadada ambaye alikuwa anafichua siri nzito ambaye ilikuwa ina happen siku ambayo Grand Chira alikuwa anabrudika kwa na na marafiki wake pale kwenye kwenye bar. So guys, pia bado si kuchoka kutafuta mambo makubwa ambayo matiktoka. Matiktoka wengi wameanza kuhofia maisha yao. Kama e, ule anajiita kama president wa tiktoka Nyako. Nyako ameweza kuhadhari watu akisema kuna i, kuna kuna Satan imeweza kuja kwenye TikTok in form of okay, in form of pesa ama lion. Watu ambao wanatumia lion my friend hiyo si pesa hiyo ni satan watu wengi wameweza kutumia mtandao wa TikTok ili kumaliza vijana wetu humu mjini na ukiangalia 95% ya matiktoka ni youth youth group ndo wanaumia sana huko TikTok juu watu wengi wamezoea kupata pesa ya bure pesa ya bure haina maana ama pesa ya haraka so ukiangalia kwenye TikTok vijana wengi sana wameishia kule TikTok na nyako ameweza kutoa um, tough warning sana kwa hawa vijana akisema 95% watakufa na mambo ya Remason ama kutolewa kafara. So guys, hebu pia msikize president wa wa TikTok atuweza kuwaonya eh, wana TikToka kote nchini. 5% of TikTok is gone. Cuz they are there clapping. Oh yes. Hey. Satan is going to come in form of money. Satan is going to come in form of everything on TikTok and we will cheer Satan and say welcome you are the best. I promise you. I promise you you will live to tell me this one day. Nyako alisema 95% of Kenyan souls are going to be harvested on this platform. Tuongeni baadaye. Mimi nataka kuoga. I attend to my duties here and there nime nimewadelivia hiyo message hiyo ilikuwa mambo yangu ilikuwa ni mambo ya eh, tiktoka eh, ama president wa tiktok nyako nyako aliweza kuwaoni watu akisema 95% watu wataweza ku kunini na wanadanganywa kuna satan inaweza kutokea mpaka akaweka hiyo kibango pale kwa hiyo video picha ya satan kwamba kuna kitu inaweza inaanza kumaliza wa Kenya kwenye tiktok na guys pia kuna mtu aliweza kusema wewe kama tiktoka unafurahia kutumiwa gift. Ujui hiyo gift imetoka wapi? Mtu anakutumia 10,000, anakutumia 100k, anakutumia eh, 300g. Ujui imetoka wapi? Hao watu wamepeleka soul yao kwa, kwenye Illuminati ama wame sacrifice na wanakuja kwa hapa hiyo pesa na amjui hiyo pesa kitakuja kwa haramba. Guys, huyu jamaa anajitafsiri na King aliweza kujieleza vizuri hapo sana. So guys, pia mnaweza msikiza na watu ambao wako TikTok mimi sijakuja kuwachambua lakini nawaambia ukweli vijana muweze kujituma na muache kutegemea pesa ya bure Kenyans are wondering why are we losing some TikTokers Utem. I know some Kenyans are wondering why are we losing some TikTokers every time and then Now let me ask you do you really care to know where these strangers are getting money that are buying gifts to gift you every time and then you are there seated a lion passes by wow. Uh, universe 30 lions and you are there clapping somebody you even don't know let me tell you some people are not sleeping outside here some people have offered their souls to satan some people are sacrificing things outside here to get money and that money is what is consuming us what is killing us is not far away from us it's with us these people are sitting with us and the one are killing us every time and then let us be careful What comes from Satan is being paid back with blood. You will not give Satan money. Satan will give you money but you're going to give him blood. If that's the little uh, things I know. I am not a pastor. But those were just my thoughts that let us be careful. These people that are entertaining us, gifting us with so many big big things and you are there clapping are the ones that are killing us every time and then. You don't know after this young man called Chira who is next. You don't know. Let's be careful. I love you guys and bye bye. Yes. Ndugu yetu ameweza kutueleza vizuri sana the king amesema 
kwamba muache kupata vitu vya bure. Mtu anakujie tu wewe ujui umetoka wapi, wewe unafurahi tu, lion inakuja. Na ukiona vitu nyingi sana guys. Mtu atumiwa lion na ikuja ifanye ha. Kila mtu ana tent. Kila mtu ana tent mpaka nitamanya atoroke ajifike kwenye kwenye kitanda chini. Kama juzi niliona video nyingine hapo nyako alitumiwa lion kama tasi. Nyako anashtuka mpaka anajimwagilia chai. Mtu yote alitumiwa lion mtu anashtuka guys ukitumia lion mbona unashtuka mbona ndo naambia hiyo kitu ambao unatumia hiyo si pesa utafurahi the moment ukidrop uleta kwa mpesa yako guys jo one day kitakurama so guys itazidi kuwaletea mambo mengi ambayo inashtuka about mwendo wake grand sira jo tunataka tujue kweli grand sira aliweza kuwawa ama alifanya nini na hiyo video yote nimwachezea hapo nyuma imeanza kutuonyesha ukweli Juu hata kama baba T alitupea ile postmortem guys alitupea na akiwa 50-50 na hakutaka kukaa live immediately akakuonyesha watu na akasema niko na picha yake yote akaanza lakini hakutuonyesha akasema tu niko na video niko na nini na akasema mtu yote mwenye ana, ana, anasema alipigwa risasi aende police station naona aende police station so guys Natumai pia tuko pamoja na kama pia unashuku ama nini unaweza drop hapo comment na the moment uki drop comment utasoma comment zenu kama mnataka kuna kitu mnataka nikafikie nitatafuta na pia yule witness ambaye alisema alikuwa amebebwa mkisikiza sauti yake vizuri pia kuna ujanja ndani yake so guys keep tuning kwa 254 digital news na kama hujaweza kusubscribe na kuomba sana usubscribe hapo na nitashukuru sana na Mungu atakubariki so yote tisa kumi mimi Eh, lise malo lipo na kama halipo uenda la kaja mambo yanachemuka ndani ya TikTok Hello guys something is happening something is happening to my house and I don't know what it is cuz after nimetoka live uh, the, kuna hizi vitu hizi this small piece Reno I've killed like I've killed a multiple like five in ingine There's another one here on the flower you can see here hii hapa and you can see pale penye pakangu imekaa kuna zingine like manyuki zimeja kwa kwa kitchen yangu look ona nyingine pale manyuki zimeja kwa nyumba i don't know why what is happening hello guys